I mean, I try, honestly, I honestly try to stop doing this. But humanity has a way of just bringing me back in. So here I am. On this day, December 19th, 2013. The day I lost a little bit more respect for humanity. Dang, bro. What happened? I literally got shit on. I doubt that. No, for realsies. By what, a bird? No, a bro in my condo complex. Is this gonna be safe for work? Cage watch the show. Here we go. Who does that? Come on, bro! I need to backtrack a little and start with the night before. Me and my boy Bobic, Chauncey, and the Coos just finished having an amazing night at Bro Night. Really? I mean, have you ever seen anyone finish a one pound hamburger and a six pound milkshake in an hour? Nope. We did. And it was tight. Well, they're done because he's Woo! done. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, the parking situation at my condo complex is less than abysmal. It's super overcrowded and there's no assigned spots, which on most nights can be a good thing if you get home at like five o'clock. Anytime after that, you're either walking down a hill or around a corner. And if that situation happens from my front door to my car, it takes a good five to six minutes to walk to. Yes, I get it. Rich people problems. When it's really cold out and you know you have to defrost your car and you're already really late for school, ain't nobody got time for that. <coughs> wow, almost a year later and you bring that reference out. Being the nice bro that I am, I let my bros come in my car and I drove to bro night, which gave them good parking spots when they arrived and gave me an even better parking spot when they left. I decided to take Kuz's spot. I pulled my car up a little bit so he can get by. So if this is Kuz's car, and this is my car. Kuz has to leave so I can pull in. But there's another guy who came from the other way who tries to get the spot. I was already there. I had my blinker on. And he's all like inching up a little bit to try to get in. No, bro. Don't do that. I know that you live here. I've seen your car before. The parking here sucks. Go down the hill. I've done my time. Oh. Kah. So when I finally park my car, his car is super close to mine. And I think he's kind of mad. Cut to the next morning. Wake up a little late, rushing out of the house. Couldn't even shower. Sorry, kids. Walk gingerly out to my car, about to get in. Go to reach for the handle and oh! Oh, there's a little surprise in my door handle. Shut up, what kind of surprise? Oh, you know, a shitty one. In my door handle. Oh, f I know, right? What did you do? I paused for a second and realized that the situation wasn't as bad as it looked. I think bro realized that smearing actual poop into my door handle might cause a problem between two people who live in a relatively close residential area. The poop was contained in a little bag, which leads me to believe it was dog shit, and not human shit, because that'd be really crazy and I'd be moving out. Unlike most mornings, the cold actually helped me. The poop was really hard and it was kind of just stuck on top of my door handle. So I just pulled the bag up, went to the dumpster, tossed it out. What a freaking douche. I knew! Like, for real, who does that? And like I said, it's not like we have assigned spots. I get it. You park there a lot. I've seen your car there before. You can't not park there for one night? Bitch. So whatever, I got into my car. I was kind of pissed. It may or may not have caused a chain reaction to mm, almost make me freak out at my best friend. Sorry, Mike. Are you going to take any revenge? Totes. Already did. I wrote that motherfucking letter. <clears throat> my mans, I'm really sorry about taking your parking spot last night. I did not realize that you were there until it was too late. Or that you're a resident. Won't happen again. Pedro. P.S. Don't worry about the poop. Thanks for not smearing it in my door handle. Are uh, you kind of punked out? Uh, not really. That dude's crazy. If that guy's gonna put a bag of dog shit on my car just for taking his parking spot, who knows what he'd really do if I really retaliated. You're right. Besides, I'm a grown-ass man. It's Christmas sweater time. And my deductible is like $1,000. And you're kind of break easy. And I break easy. Also, ain't nobody got time for that? Got it. Come on, bros! <laughs> that. Bah humbug.